Aww. I love cats. I don't know why, but I'm just. Come on! Come on! Come on! Go on, snap! Oh! On snap on Insta. If you heard, he um, him and his uh, girlfriend split up. She got to bed. Literally, like, like three days after. Yeah. Yas queen. Yeah. Yas. Yas. Let me find. So, all right. Let me find biohazard. But just <gasps> that character is based off of me. Then I haven't had caffeine. I mean, fair enough. This is the original character. That's pretty good. Right, and then she changed it. And was like, it's more like you when you haven't had caffeine. And I was like... I'm going to take out that question. So, if we have got our, our another... Who <gasps> are you now, my mommy? Not me. I thought, was, I thought it was someone pushing their mic up their nose. My mic's I'm here. Just chilling in my kitchen. My mic's down here. I wanna find. I wanna find. Right here, I though. wanna find you a picture of her dog. Her dog is absolutely adorable. And I mean dog. Okay, where's Mothman? Mothman! There's no need to feel down. She sent me this when she made her go. No. Oh my god. <laughs> right. I, yes. I know. She does a lot of like gay digital art. How about her? Then don't do it again. Then. Round two. Yeah, let's try this again. So. Hello everyone, welcome two. back. This is the first episode of the LGBTQ Plus podcast. So we have Molly, we have got Leo, and we have got Dylan. So I am Dom, and I am pansexual, and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Yeah. Who wants to go next? I am cast as a raging rainbow pandemic because I am pansexual and demisexual and I am transgender. For some reason, the way you're saying that, I was going to say, I am classed as a threat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a threat! <laughs> I am short and you take away my caffeine. A threat to the cishets. <laughs> I am short and you take away my caffeine, then yes, I am definitely a threat. <laughs> how tall? I'm only five foot four, five foot five, so... No way, I'm taller yeah, than you and yeah, I'm, I'm five not... foot four. <laughs> Wait, how so tall you're more here? like five foot three and a quarter. You're just like... That's... <laughs> Dom, I think, uh, Dylan, I think, I think you're the tallest here. <laughs> well, How tall do I am there? You're only across the road from me. And I do have roommates on my, on my Snapchat. How tall do you think I am then? You're about, you know, like you're about six foot. Somewhere between six three and six four. <laughs> Bro, that's bad. Right. So, first of all. What is the LGBTQ plus? So the LGBTQ plus is lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, questioning, and the pluses for everything else. I'm pretty sure I got that right. We are here. We are here. Deal with it, Karen. <laughs> yeah, there's probably going to be some cap co uh, Karens in the comments. Like, oh, you shouldn't be gay. It's against Christianity. And it's a sin. Or, it's like, oh, or just, don't. You know, just oh, stop. 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 Christians can kiss our queer asses. Isn't it? <laughs> uh, this is kind of going to be a PG, but I would rate it a 12. <laughs> So we got we can't really swear too much, but we can go into some sort of detail. There is going to be other podcasts. 
coming up soon that are probably going to be meant for the older generation because they are sensitive and yeah so that's all good so next one is everyone's favorite and everyone wants to talk about it is pride month Yay! Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so we are getting drunk some yeah, yeah the whole month that the straights get even angrier <laughs> in it <laughs> there is no two ways about it in it so <laughs> So I've got a cousin who is um, bisexual. She's a horse rider. Oh yes. Oh, she's lovely. Like right, let me let me find a picture of her. She is absolutely gorgeous. She is a spinner. So this is my cousin. This is actually one of many cousins. Wow. I know. I know. Um, Dylan said, "Yeah, he'll be back in about five minutes." Five minutes so that is absolutely fine so yeah pride month is where we can express ourselves and not care about what society thinks um so if we anybody address... tries to break my room but i just tell them to grow f themselves yeah so it's it's pretty good um <laughs> pride month is basically we can express ourselves without having other people um distracting us or we they can't really well they can't do it anyway but in pride month it's more special that we can express ourselves um so that's really good um does anyone want to talk about their pride experience pride month experiences yes Mm -hmm. so i came out two years ago first the pride of pride month i came out as trans yeah my dad took me out for dinner Oh my god, what did you have? Where did you go? Did you go to a pub? uh, No, we went to this place in Northampton that's like called... uh, It's like a little really back out of the way place. Yeah. And it's like... You get like... It's like a really big smoke house as well. Mm. And then I had... I I had steak. And my dad said... Like a shika bar. You know, the one with the long... But it's like really hippie. Yeah, it's got like really long pipes and these like things that stand up pretty high with pipes. No, 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 no. It's an actual proper restaurant. Oh, wow. And um, my dad said to my face, I knew you were going to come out sooner or later. Oh, that's cute. That's cute. (laughs) Yeah, let's not. (laughs) I have. My dad is very very much against it uh my dad basically when i told him he changed his attitude towards me and since i left the situation um that i was in which i'm not going to talk about um because that is coming up for another podcast um yeah i escaped that and my mum was like she said no matter what happens i'll support you so it's like oh so my mum like fully 100 percent supports me she was like I couldn't care whether you're black, blue, green, have three arms, three legs. She still I'll loves me. I'll show you what I got as a present for Pride Month. It is absolutely brilliant. His partner knitted these. Oh, I Didn't your dad good. give you those boots as well, those sparkly? Doc yes. Martins? So six years ago, I came out as um, questioning. And then my dad gave me those boots saying, you're going to come out someday. And then when yeah. I did eventually come out he said it was worth buying them boots even if though they were <laughs> yeah. if you are listening to this on spotify i am very sorry we can't show show the picture of them but they are like bright sparkly yes Dr. they are Mar- bright. Dr. Martins. You, you should um, put the boots as like the cover yeah <laughs> we'll just have that as the episode the so, uh... oh my god they are amazing she ki- she always makes me rainbow oh gloves. Oh, that is that yeah, is actually pretty cool. Uh, I don't, I don't have one. Like a sexual joke comes up. I just whip the right, uh, Let me get them boots because yeah, <laughs> they are not. They're not like 
they're not they are the epitome of I am here and I am quit like my cousin saw me in them and she went you're LGBTQ, you're LGBTQ plus aren't you? I said yeah she's like you know you don't really have to show it in what you wear I was like but it is me she was like like different people express it differently enough. that's why I've got my ear pierced and I've got another couple coming up soon like I'm gonna have my lip done I'm gonna get my eyebrows done I'm gonna get my like all of my ears done so that's awesome I, mean, I may even have a scaffolding bar Dude, these are the only boots um, I actually own. <laughs> so, um, my cousin, um, she expresses it by dyeing her hair. And yeah. as you can see, I, I did to. actually try to dye my hair. I, did. I don't know. Um, I don't know whether to spend, the, you know, that gift card. I don't know whether to spend it on getting, like, my hair dyed, like, buy some bleach and then dye. Or do I want to, um, or do I want to actually, like, pierced my ears because the so, piercings uh, i can't yeah, it kind of went red <laughs> yeah i don't know whether to pierce it because i've got to take them out for work but they can't really force me to take my hair out i can't literally sit there plucking my hair out <laughs> but i mean so let me get them boots yeah um and when i say they they make you look like you're here and you're queer yeah they do <laughs> They do do that, like, they are, like, you know what I mean, Dom, like, they are bright. Yeah. Um, like, we always make jokes about them being my gay boots. Yeah. Uh, I wear them just because they're comfortable, and yeah. also, like, they are vegan, and I'm not a ve- to be honest, the irony is, I'm not vegan. <laughs> but, I like them because, one, they're comfortable, two, my dad got me them, three, they're just comfortable. It's good that they've got like a funny story behind them as well. Um, yeah, so it was actually my birthday, which is actually coming up so really soon. When is your birthday? April 25th. All right, I will write that in my diary, my gay little diary. I swear to God, only like gay people have diaries. Or old people. Or old people and gay people. <laughs> I swear Imagine to God. Imagine the old like, gay people. Yeah, the old fashioned. I'm like quite old fashioned, but I'm like also a little bit gay. So. <laughs> Daddy Rob. No, don't imagine if he's listening to this. It's like no. <laughs> it's like, so um, there is a reason why we call one of our um. I I don't know the reason why he's called um. So a, a certain word that you use in the bedroom, and then his name as a warden, um. But there are some people that are making a shrine and they said, we'll put Jesus next to you. And he straight up turned around and said, do not put Jesus next to me because he will go up in flames. Right. Where is my... Oh, here we go. My my diary, you know. Like, oh, my, oh my cousin's the best. Like, my yeah. cousin is so lovely. Very, very, very busy week. And I actually haven't added my assignments in there yet. Oh, no, I haven't got a pair, that's so it. Many I, right. I never keep let's one. Just, let's just go get them gay boots, shall we? Yeah, whilst I'm writing in my little gay diary. Yeah. Yas, queen. Yas. Yas. Right, where am I? Where am, what am I doing? Right, um, Friday, I'm probably going to start work. There is, uh, no, I'm my quiet. earphones need charging, no. They are gorgeous. These were originally £220, but my dad won for 160 And my dad, and my dad, my dad, my dad just knew that I was going to come out at some point. point. My dad literally, like, he had a gay dar. He felt the change that wasn't. Yeah, pretty much. It's like, it's a bit like the saying, the end is near. <laughs> the end yeah. of the era. Like, um, you see me wear the bulls of time. Um, they had a lot of mud on them. I actually cleaned them. <laughs> Like, 
Like, like I, I actually did clean girl. them. Um, um, believe it or not, I used to be a woman. To be a woman. Um, and I can take a picture of that. Because, because this is at my prom, and um, this dress at... So, like, funny story. This dress was not packed properly in the here, and it's still too big for me, so it slipped down. And who was serving me that night was one of my brother's best mates. So he went to go grab the dress before it fully slipped, because it turns out I was standing on it. And he grabbed up on my chest. And it, and it just kind, kind of, of it, it, it didn't go well. Did you say it was April 25th? Yeah, yeah April 25th. 25th. Your birthday's on a Sunday, you can't get drunk. Uh, I don't have lessons until a Wednesday. No, but I do. <laughs> so I'll get, I'll get drunk in your place. <laughs> so, um, yeah, this was me. <laughs> That dress was about two grand. grand. That's, 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 that's the best dress. dress. The shawl, the shawl I got free. free. I did all my own makeup, makeup everything. everything. Yeah, that's the best dress. 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 Yeah, and then I did my own makeup. Oh, wow, that's cool. i got to show you. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm so, um, to show you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, at the time, I had waist long hair that was like really silky. Oh, wow. Mate, I wish I had hair like that. Have you seen my hair? Like, oh my god. It's like jet black. It's horrible. And look, I'm like a fox. You could put ears on me, and I would run around <laughs> thinking, what does the fox say? <laughs> With my middle fingers up. See, mine's just messy, washed out, pink mess. At least yours looks half gay. Mine, make, mine, mine makes me look like an animal. Not as bad as what I had. Are we going to talk about pineapple hair, or...? Yeah, I'll try, I'll try and find that photo. <laughs> <laughs> so, so at one point, point he tried to bleach his hair, hair and he, he, managed, he managed to do it, it and, then and then he put it into four, and he got, like, little, um, ponytails, and they went like this, and then he put it into three, and then he put it into four, and then he put it into three, 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 like, I went to prom with, like, in it, like, my suit there, that suit cost me like 200 quid, and then I had purple hair as well. Like, that <laughs> was that was amazing. Um, that was pretty good. And then I decided I was going to bleach my hair, then I stopped bleach, and then I uh, had I went pink, like a pinkish, like blonde, pink blonde in a bit of orange in there. Then I decided to cut it off, grow it out, and then bleach it again, and then I had blue. Like a really, oh, yeah. really nice blue. I'll see if I got a better photo of it. And I am so sorry, Honestly, guys, okay. if you are listening to on Spotify. Um, just have to imagine. imagine it. Yeah, just imagine. Yeah, I can't even see it. Imagine me with blue hair because you've probably never seen me. Trust <laughs> me, I look to him, so I see a lot. And it's a lot more than I want to. Honestly, Honestly what it was a prop like. I never raised mine. Um, so, with, with me, we got patted down. But we managed to see how far I Oh, God. I just took um, alcohol because I was 18 at the time. And he was going around and he had... But, um, if you're in the UK, you will know about land or pound stretcher. Mm. He had them glasses on that are, like, the ugliest leopard print ever. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> He's just like... Hope me up um, and I'll slow down. But at one point, yes, I had a crystal in my nose. Oh, that's pretty cool. Mind you, saying that I did have. Is that the photo you were referring to? You look like a helicopter. Was that the photo? Yeah. And then oh, I was like, oh, Stop. Like, you could spin it and take off. 
Oh, and then that one. Are you on about that one? Oh, no. Oh, I know that one. That's 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 you have a fit on top of this layer on your head. Yeah, I know. So I had my hair blue and it went grey. That I mean, was, that was the worst color. one because it started, like, fading. Like... Oh. I never actually dyed my hair. So this was me when I was... When I was eight years old. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. And then that's me now. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> oh, surprise! Then I had that. Like this... It was like a reddish... Mayo and ketchup dip hair look. I know. It's horrible. Oh, is that the one you were referring? I think that was the one you were referring to. Yeah, it is. I was also referring to Purple, purple is still... Oh, you probably can't see it. Uh, purple is my favourite colour. I just feel like I've missed out on so much now because I haven't dyed my hair, I haven't done anything like that. Just... Don't have alcohol before you bleach your hair because it'll end up like that. Never had alcohol, so I don't know. Stay a virgin that way. Please. I mean, I've never had it ever. <laughs> Do you want to see with me with makeup on? Sure. Go for it. I'm trying to find a. Fire away. That's kind of like the only photo I really got. Like, I've got uh -huh. that, and then... Oh, it looks like catfish. How did that go to this? <laughs> what do you, don't know why, but look at that. I'm getting like an odd, like, undertone, like, looking at it, just thinking about the word... Like, like, with the make on, you look mildly Asian. I'm not too mean to... Don't! Uh, yeah. that, is, that, is my, that is my family's joke against me. Like, they call me Asian boy all the time. It's like, no, I'm no, not no, Asian. No, 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 no. make on. You look like a... Um... No, like... Oh, I was not expecting that. <laughs> I, I, don't really show, I don't really show people that. <laughs> Wow! Sorry, that <laughs> sounded better in my head. The last three with makeup on. Um, I was in Bedadorm. Did you say Bedadorm? I said your door. Oh, so I'm like Benadorm. <laughs> I've lost my sheet. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So basically, Dom was uh, singing along to a certain song, and, and I said, "Is this like Armadillo?" No, it's Amarillo. <laughs> exactly. Right, I'm on. Right, I'm just talking. remembered the next subject. We kind of mildly went off the subject, but we were still talking about yeah. us being gay. Um, coming out, we've kind of already touched on it. So, how did you guys come out? I thought that first I was by. So I kind of stepped past into my hair. And then I kind of realised a couple of months ago in a relationship that couple of people not seeing into it. It made me so sick and it gave me so much anxiety. I did some research and found sexual. And I found out about how old I spoke to now on my partner. And then she kind of said to me, oh yeah, I'm eight. I'm eight. So, um, I'm, I'm a very creative person, person and I like to hate. Like so, so, with my dad, dad I made a giant flag, flag of my sexuality, sexuality and, I and I said, deal, deal with it. it. Yeah. <laughs> I told him his, his, his favourite cupcakes. cupcakes. Which, which at the time, at the time were like, like so I did so chocolate, vanilla, vanilla caramel, caramel, and strawberry. Did a massive flag, flag and I just went, deal with it. 
<laughs> and my dad, and my dad said, said, I know. I, know. I, don't, I don't care. care. I've known, I've known for, for a while. while. <laughs> so, <laughs> Dylan, how did you come out? By accident. By accident. Oh no, it wasn't one of them. <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, this is what happened. First, First time, time ever coming here, yeah, I made Instagram, Instagram account, account, yeah? Yeah. And maybe, and maybe literally, literally about, about, literally about this, 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 yeah, yeah just what, what followed a bunch of, like, like gay related things, 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 I hadn't I followed anyone else, else yet. yeah? My sister, my sister found the account. account. <laughs> Ten minutes! Then then less than that. Less than that. No! And, then and then she shared, shared it to my mum. Oh, so you finally came out, out there, out there yeah? yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh no! <laughs> this is literally about one hour. Like, like, from like between like five to seven minutes, it took them to find it. And on the final five day? This is a week before I planned to actually say. This is exactly, exactly a week. So, um, I've got, got family, family over in America, America. Mm-hmm. and they had no, no idea, idea that I was having them Yeah. I never knew that I was young. So, so I, I called, called them. It's this past January, right? Mm. Uh, and then they said, look, look, we, we need, need to talk. talk. And, and, um... You know, you know, it is what it is, is at the end of the day. day. So we're talking, so we're talking and I just, just said, said look, I'm going to put it out there. there. I am cast as a rainbow threat because I am transgender, I am pansexual, I am demisexual. And, and my uncle goes, goes yeah, yeah, we kind of guessed. <laughs> so, how I, I don't know. I don't, rem- <laughs> I don't actually know. I think... <laughs> he just goes, yeah, yeah, we, we kind of guessed. guessed. You don't want to look like people. So I don't actually remember how I came out, but I think it was on the lines of like I was kind of still like expressing myself. So like I came out at one point in like trans, like because I was still questioning who I was and I wasn't sure on who I was. So I remember coming out, and of course my brother found out um, through school because I told my mate at school and she told someone else, and they blabbed it out to the school so my brother found out and my brother was, um, like we were like spreading around i know yeah and then like um it was over like dinner dinner my brother was like hey there's a rumor going around the school that you're trans is that true i was like well i can't say for certain because i'm still like questioning who i am but i know like 100 percent that i'm kind of gay um and of course i got brought up with my grandparents so they're very old-fashioned like went to church and everything like that so they were like oh no you can't be gay and we're going to disown you and christ knows what else but i still live with them um for years and years and years and they just got used to it but then like i don't know i don't actually remember how i found out i was gay i've just it's always i've always known that like i'm not mm. attracted to women but then I kind of am like it's like I don't know, so I just call myself Pan because, like I said, like I said to Leo the other day, I'm buying you a frying pan for your birthday. Right, you should go into detail. It's like I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy you a frying pan and a bottle of lube. I just I know. Like, don't have too much fun. No frying pan. Get him a wok. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it'd. Def- no, no, I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say that. Well, Gotta keep it PG. <laughs> or maybe a calendar. What for when it goes all mushy? <laughs> no, no, just but like, I don't know. I'm it's not greater. Um, I don't know. Like, I think the first time, like, I actually started. Exp- it was just with. It was with my me- like. It was random, like. I don't know how I remember me being gay. I've just always known. Like, but like I, I think I said to Leo the other day, like, and I think I may have mentioned it to Molly in the text, I don't care who I fall in love with. Like, why should I fall in love with someone's gender or sex? Just mm. because of that. Why Why should a relationship be based on sex? It should be based on personality. So that's why... 
Right. It's easier because everyone knows what being bisexual means. You like both, and everyone knows what gay and straight and lesbian is, but no one really understands what pansexual or like stuff yeah. like that means. So I just say I'm bi, but in reality, I'm. They pan. know the basics, really. Yeah, they only know the basics. They don't really know the things. Like, like it's it's mad. With my family, my dad always knew that he had a rainbow child. Yeah. That's yes, all you would say is that he had a rainbow child, and I've got two older brothers. And this past January, um, unfortunately, my dad's nearly sixty. He got COVID, oh. and he was in um, intensive care. Oh. That's when my oldest brother decided to come out to him as bi curious. Oh, <laughs> while he's in intensive care, he's like, so I've got two rainbow children. There was stairs at the last one. No, Anything you want to say? Yeah, it's a bit like they're saying, like, you go down through, like, the ages. I'm gay. And he's like, oh, my God, does anyone else like men? It's like, me, Dad, I like there's, men. And then it's like, is there anything yeah. you want to tell me? <laughs> like, I'm adopted. There's a nurse head around the corner. I am. So, I'm adopted, right? Mm-hmm. I've been 11 plus years now. And um, I've got an older brother who's 24 tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I've got an older brother who we think may be ace because he's never had a partner. Ever. Same with my brother, but my pro- my brother's probably watching this on YouTube, so I everything I do say, bro, I don't mean it. Like, my brother Adrian has <laughs> never just had a relationship. I just being like, what did you say? <laughs> yeah, I am probably am, to be honest. Like, no. <laughs> But he's always just been like, it, just get like a bash on the door. You need to no, send me I a don't live. I don't live nowhere near. You know who I'm going to send it to? Like, yeah, you can send this to Ace. So, um, I've got two brothers. My first brother, he's never been in a relationship. He's always been career, but we think he's either like asexual or he's. We think he's may have Asperger's. Um, Asperger's. So there's that, and then. My brother, my younger brother, my younger full brother, um, she, I keep saying she, but it's a he. Like, oh, I'm not good at pronouns, like, really not. I'm sorry, oh, I'm no, sorry, Ace, no. if you are. Word on pen lip. I'm sorry, Ace, if you are watching this. Um, he's not, he's not online at the moment, but I'll make sure he is. No, um, it's a two, yeah, but it's a two hour time difference, so it's two, it's like two hours ahead. Yeah, I know. So... And he messaged me at like two in the morning. Yeah, I know. Texts, he texts you more than bloody me. We have a full group chat where we message each other. Oh, we you? Why don't you add me into this group? On Snapchat as well. Add me into this group then. Like, no, because yeah. it's called family. And he's, I was like, you know, family... Like, you know, you can always decide who your family is. Part so I'm not your family, then? <laughs> <laughs> and he was like, you know something? <laughs> you're, you're such a sound G. I'm like, trust me, I'll put up with your brother. How do you think I feel sometimes? <laughs> yeah. My, He's like, I feel sorry my, for you. I was like, My little brother, me, like, my two little brothers, like, like okay. oh, my God. If anything would happen to them, then, like, I'd be over there in a shot, like... Passport or no passport, I'd still go visit him. But the thing is, the thing is, it's mad. Is I might be seeing his girlfriend before I actually see him. Oh yeah, she told me about all yeah. that. Like she called me, she was like, "I'm so panicky." I was like, "Just make a group chat with me, you and Ace in it, and see what yeah. happens." And then she told us, and Ace goes, "Who fucking is that?" <laughs> he was so pissed. Yeah, I don't mean it though. Like, but the thing is, I'm going to America anyway, so we like America. we're planning to meet up, and then I'm gonna fly over to Spain. So, but yeah, what... I know I have a giant chest. Leave me out. Leave me out of it. Hey, I'm gay, so I'm not looking, <laughs> and I don't think Dylan Same. is either. Man, too tired to actually look at his ass. Eh? I didn't want to see that. <laughs> I don't know how they exactly can do that. He turns on a camera again. <laughs> <laughs> Molly! <laughs> I feel so mean because I've just been on 
blame you, but I'm like cooking and people keep coming and talking to me and I feel really mean. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Um, it was actually me who muted you because all I could hear is like something going on in the background, like oh, a I'm machine sorry. whirring. No, nah, no, nah, it's fine. Um, yeah. So, yeah, but my brother. Like, so we will message each other. Like if they have bad days and they don't really want to talk to you about it, they come to me. It's like. Yeah, that's understandable though, because I'm family like. Very gay mother. Probably. <laughs> I'm not only that, I'm just like, <laughs> get on with it. <laughs> but that's me. <laughs> no, I'm joking. But like... Me, like, if they have a bad day, so that's the group. I swear that to God, I, I, swear, I swear to God, I only. I sw- Add me into it, please. <laughs> no! You know, I'm a bit concerned sometimes. I think, she's, I think they're going to purposely do it now, just. Like, no. not I now. joined that group chat, they all leave. <laughs> no. no, so we were like... They invite you, but then... Oh, we were laughing. Oh, we were... Oh, we were in a group chat and we were laughing about something for like an hour. Because Ace said something wrong and we were just absolutely dying with laughter. <laughs> and we were just laughing. And then I thought Ace died and turns out his phone died. <laughs> Like, Ace, are you still alive? He's like, yeah, I'm fine, my phone just died. <laughs> and then I, I said to him, don't you have your brother on Instagram? He's like, nah. I was like, oh, he's from live now. All he's doing is playing music. But, um, like, this is what I sent them recently. Trial, okay, fair enough. Who are you into? Transformers, Pokemon, you fucking, fucking child. child. Okay, fair enough. I'm trying to keep this PG. Remember. <laughs> Don't worry, if I'm, this wasn't PG, I'd have me top off by now, but it's PG. <laughs> Trust me, he would. And it's then, too bloody uh, hot in this room. Family snap. <laughs> so what was sort of like the next question? Then? I don't know. That was where I got to. I couldn't think of any more questions, but I don't know what else to add in this podcast. Like, because I've got oh. like... Oh, episode... yeah, we send each other things so... like that. <laughs> Living... So... Episode win. I, I am um, so right. There we go. 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 So I've got five episodes written at the moment, and like mm-hmm. and stuff like that. So if you're more than you're more than welcome to join on the other podcast, they will always be at the same time. They will always use the same code as well. Um. So always six o'clock in the dark. Um. So. Yeah, so the second one, which we'll go into more detail, this one's only going to be like a short one because, you know, oh no, my phone's on 10%. Ah. Um, this one's just like the introduction saying who we are and get to know each other. Because believe it or not, this is like the first time I saw him. Well, I know Leo, of course. Um, but this is the first time I meet him. Dylan and was Molly. Near me, like, where I'm from. So, you know. Yeah. So this is like the first time I'm actually meeting Dylan and Molly. So it's just we're still trying to get um, to know each other and stuff like that. But fingers crossed because we'll probably stay on this after after the call anyway, uh, after the podcast mm. finished recording and talk and stuff. So um, we're going to leave it there, but we're going to talk about what's going to come up in the next um, the next podcast, which will be fingers crossed a week after this one's uploaded. Um, so in episode two, we are going to be talking about um, gender, sex, and sexuality differences. So the next one is going to be what are the differences between sex and gender? Um, what are pronouns and how to use them? I think that was a good one. Um, I've got going into more about sexualities, um, relationships. Um, one for Leo um trans about transgender and transgender issues and any issues we have um any issues we have around them and then episode t- episode three this one's n- i'm not going to go into detail on this one because this is a pg stream but let's say um episode three is going to be about mental health and of course this is a pg one so i'm not going to go into detail what we're going to be talking about um we'll do that on the actual episode three but i'll tell you guys after um episode four is support and where to go to find it 
And then number five, and then I'm probably going to create some more because and with more ideas and stuff. And number four are the stories and our experiences. So we'll be talking about our coming out stories in more detail, um, relationships, positive experiences, um, the negative experience if we had them. And yeah, that is it of what I can think of. Have you guys got anything to say for our listeners and watchers? All I'm going to say is, um, for me, um, even if you're like questioning, you know, don't be afraid. Like, in your area, there is always going to be um, an LGBTQ plus area, like, group that you yeah. can join. Don't be afraid to, like, comment down below, like, if you want to contact one of us, because... Yeah. Believe it or not, I may look really young. I'm not. I'm not funny. <laughs> funny. <laughs> I know. It's scary, isn't it? It's like... Coming to get ya. I know. In the gay way. <laughs> In the gay, the gay way. The gay fairies coming. Oh, no! <laughs> it's like a Netflix. I mean, to convert you. To me, being like LGBTQ+, it's like a Netflix <laughs> I signed up for it for seven months and then I forgot to cancel it, so now I have it for life. <laughs> In it. That is exactly how I describe Like, if someone asks me why I'm like that, that is exactly how I describe it. Yeah. And the thing is, like, um, if on YouTube you're watching, you would have seen that I have bright gold boots. That is how I show myself sometimes. Sometimes I wear my bright rainbow gloves sometimes i'm just there like don't even think about touching me because i will fight back yeah like but the thing is like i knew from the get-go that i was rainbow like from day one i knew i was rainbow i was like yeah. everyone and if right the thing is i am gonna say here if and there probably is going to be Karens and stuff like that in this. Um, Brenda's. There's always going to be people like that. But there's one thing I will say. Being gay and part of the LGBT community is not a choice. It's something we've all been born with, basically. Exactly. It's like trying to change your eye colour, really. Yeah. Like... You, you get it, like, instantly, like, if you're not in your head, you're not in your illness, like, in America, they have something called conversion therapy or straight therapy. Don't do that, because that just makes it ten times worse. That actually yeah. damages your child. That harms them more, and it breaks down your relationship with them. So technically, mm -hmm. you're doing more harm than good there. I think... I think we should create a, a sixth episode on, um, I don't know what we were just talking about, but I can't think of the actual word to call it. Like, um, I don't know. Life, the universe, and everything. I don't know how to say it, like, it's weird. Hmm. Like, you know, like, support for adults and stuff. What's it yeah. I don't know. I'll just put six. Like information. That's it. Information for parents and people. Yeah. Info for parents and people. The misinformed. Yeah. So in episode six, we will be talking about how to go about coming out. Um, but that'll be more coming out and stuff like that. And we'll give you information and tips and tricks of how to support your child, or um, we'll also give you tips and tricks. Uh, tips and tricks if you are coming out. So that'll be like a how to go about to do everything professionally and not because I like, bet some of us. I, I I know I had quite a negative experience when coming out. I don't know about the rest of you because I haven't really got to know you that far. Um, but I think more than time in one life, you have had a negative experience. So we are going yeah. to wrap it up there. Bye. From the gayest boy, or Senen's Dom, goodbye. Does anyone have... So Dylan, do you want to say goodbye, Leo? Bye. 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 Bye.
Molly. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Goodbye. You gay and do crimes. Gay and do crimes. <laughs> it won't stop recording. <laughs> stop. Stop. I broke it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because I can't even go into another tap and try and stop it. Papyrus from Undertale. Papyrus. Come on. Yeah. Yeah.